Hello and welcome to my special edition Bowdoin Spring 2019 dresses um, kind of review slash look at them, look at them on me. I uh, just wanted to give you guys uh, a, a video review of all these dresses that I've purchased over the past few months since Bowdoin rolled out their spring slash summer 2019 uh, line of clothing. And as usual, because I am a huge Bowdoin fan, I have, of course, fallen in love with way more than I should. Um, I ended up, I'm buying less, though, than I used to, simply because, number one, I don't do the blog anymore um, as much. And because of that, I don't really have the time to invest in doing reviews and then sending things back and vice versa. My, my thing now is more just what I need personally. And then if somebody else happens to enjoy the same type of clothing I do, or has the same lifestyle as I do, then they can come and see what I have. Um, and my Instagram often will show off some of the Bowdoin clothing that I've been wearing. Um, this spring has lovely bright colors, beautiful patterns. I'm super excited. I, they're bringing back more of the Bowdoin that I always knew and loved and less of that more stark, we're trying to be cooler than we are, but I personally think they're cool regardless of whether or not they think they're cool. Um, so, you know, it's just my style and I'm glad that they're kind of reaching back to where they sort of came from originally. All right, well, without much further ado and talking by me, I'm going to go ahead and get into the dresses that I've decided to purchase over the past, I think it's since January, what, five months, I guess. Um, sporadically here and there. One of the dresses that is going to be in this review is not going to be seen close up because it's in the wash and I haven't been able to wash it yet. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, pull it out, at, not during this review, and we'll go ahead and just show you a picture of it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start with one of the more, one of the older pieces in here. And uh, that's this one. It is the, it says linen dress that was first shown I think back in the February um, 2019 catalog and it's this beautiful embroidered sort of a, it's a blue linen it's kind of a crosshatch linen so it's a blue mixed with a white um, linen and so it gives it a little bit of a mauled look and then it has this gorgeous red embroidery all throughout and it kind of has a rickrack um, design throughout as well. Normally rickrack is not my thing, this kind of um, attachment where it kind of falls off. It's a hem, usually you see them at hems or at sleeves. Not really my thing, but um, on this dress it's done effectively. It does have a side zip as opposed to a back zip or just a pull on. I personally do not like side zips. I find them not as um, comfortable, but I will say on this dress, it it looks just fine. I really, and another thing with the sides zip, you often don't get pockets. And I think this dress would be lovely with pockets. I decided to buy the blue one in a 12 long, uh, which is a US 8 long. So UK 12 long and a US 8 long. And this one fits just fine. Um, but personally, my preference would be have it less fitted in the hip. So uh, when the next iteration of it came out, in I believe April of 2018 this one with the kind of the seersucker stripe to it but again it's a linen so it's not actually a, what you typically think of as seersucker it just has the seersucker stripe when this one came out with the more um kind of the more colorful embroidery with the cute little pineapple embroidered in there again same sort of rickrack design but this time the scalloped rickrack was only seen at the sleeve and at the hem whereas the other sort of embroidery uh rickrack treatment is actually not a rickrack it's more of just embroidery sort of um detailing the lines through i decided rather than going with the 12 US, uk 12 long or a us 8 long i went with a uk 14 long and a us 10 long so because um, this allowed a lot more room at my hip, it is actually very loose because of that at my upper body. I have a, I have a very small upper body compared to my lower half. And so I have to often just compromise um, that it's going to be a little loose through here in order to get it more loose on the bottom half. Um, both of them look fine in the size I decided for them. Um, I could really wear either eight 
or 10. I, you know what? I'm going to apologize. This one I got in a 10 long. Oh, I did get it in a 10 long. Okay. Um, I wasn't sure if I had decided because of the extra width, I wanted it a little bit shorter, but I think after looking at the measurements, I decided the long is still a better choice for me in this silhouette um, than a regular, which would have been too far above the knee. Okay, so um, to tell you more about it, I went ahead and grabbed my boating catalogs. So this one is the one from May of 2019, so the most current one. And uh, I also pulled the catalog from February of 2019. And I also pulled the one from March of 2019 because they all have the different um, pictures of it. So what I'm going to do is go back to the February one and show you the picture of the um, blue and red one. If I can find it, I, may have, I might have pulled it out in the March one. Pardon me. So I'll pull the March one out. And this is here. Ah, okay. So it's called the B, B Linen Embroidered Dress. It's originally $130. I never pay actually what they cost. Um, I usually get a 20 or 25% discount. I may have even gotten this one at 30% off because sometimes they'll do category special sales. So like a dress will be 30% off, but not the tops. Um, so I did not pay $130. I'm 100% certain of that. So here it is on the, um, lovely model and she looks very pretty and pleasant. And I saw that and I looked at the embroidery and thought, well, that is definitely a dress I would wear and enjoy wearing. And it's very appropriate for school. And because it gets so hot and humid here in Virginia in the spring and summer and in the fall too, it's just a staple dress that I can use again and again and again. And I go back to all of my older linen dresses from Bowdoin. I just don't show them on the Instagram as often because you all have seen them. Um, and I don't really have time to go back and I don't, I just don't photograph any, everything anymore. Okay. So that is the B linen dress in the blue and red. And then this one with the seersucker is actually in the more current one. I'll pull that out so you can see it up, up close on the model. And this one is just darling on her. I mean, she looks so precious. I love, love how it looks on her and it is more fitted on her than it actually is on me but um that's okay i'm i'm all right with that she of course this model has you know a smaller torso but she also has smaller legs and smaller bottom than i do so i'm never going to be able to achieve what she has here so i'm, I'm just going to be okay with that all right so um the two of these i'm going to show them um right here the blue and red And here is the seersucker colored, uh, seersucker lined one right here on me right now. Okay, so if you are on the fence about the bee linen embroidered dress, I'm here to tell you, don't be, it's awesome. I prefer a little boxy when I have dresses like that. I've been reading the reviews and they're complaining about the boxiness, but I, when I'm wearing linen, it's, it means it's hot outside and I don't want to have things necessarily touching my skin full on. Okay, so next up, I'm going to go ahead and show you the next oldest one, which is this darling little t-shirt dress. It is a navy blue with stripes all the way down to the hem. And at the top, it's a solid navy. And at the very, like the bust line, there's the different colors, the blue, the green, the blush, and the red. It's a very simple design. I mean, this will take me maybe cut uh, to cut it and to sew it up two or three hours. Um, really not a very difficult design. That being said, I would rather spend my energy sewing things that are a little bit more fancy and take more time because you can pick up a simple t-shirt dress like this for not very much money. All right, so this one actually was the biggest seller of these types of t-shirt dresses. From what I could tell, this one was selling out. And it may be sold out right now or low stock. Um, so if you can get your hands on this blue and white with the multicolored stripes, I would say do it because it's a cute dress. I bought this in a 12R or an 8R. Rather than going to a long, I wanted to go so, with something a little bit shorter because I wanted something I could wear to school, but I also kind of wanted something more casual for summer. So this is one of those that I won't wear if I have something special to do that day, but I did wear it to school and it was super comfortable. 
Um, this one is actually, I believe in the February one as well. So I'm going to pull it out so you can see it. Yeah, here it is. So this is called the Paulina Jersey dress. It's $70. So in Bowdoin world, $70 for a dress is actually pretty decent. And here it is on the model. She suits it better than I do clearly because she has slimmer hips. But one thing I will say about this particular design, um, with the stripes is and the blocking of the solid at the shoulders is that if you are a pear shape the darker at the top with this multicolors right at the bust line plus with it being that sort of cap sleeve it sort of balances off your lower half and because there's sort of a monochromatic look from just below your bust down it makes me I felt it made me look slimmer down there than um, other striped dresses normally do um, so this particular cap sleeve with the the breakup of the color here really worked to slim my lower half. So I would say, um, pear shape ladies, this would be a go for you. I would say definitely don't size down. Um, I could have maybe gone with a 10. I'm perfectly happy to have stayed with the eight, but I, if going back, I might've bought a 10 instead. Okay. So this one on me is right here. All right, one that I actually don't have to show off, but I'm going to quickly show it off because it's one of the earlier ones as well, is the, um, it's called the Amelie Jersey Dress. And I'm going to first show it to you on the model, the way it looks in this book. First, oh wait, hold on one second. Let me see if I can find it. Of course, here I am like thinking I can find it. Oh, I know where I can look. It's just right here on the page. Um, it says page 176. And I'm going back to the February issue of um, the Bowdoin catalog. Must know, sorry, 179. All right, so the Emily dress on the model here um, is a striped, cute little pocketed eye line fit and flare. Um, I don't love it the way it looks on this model. I don't know. I just kind of find it boring. Um, and we all own dresses like that. I suppose if you don't have a dress like that, then go for it. It's $85. Um, so not super expensive and it, it serves a purpose if you work in a place that has a dressy casual kind of approach and they need a more modest hem length, that would be a good choice. Um, and that's exactly what I have in my work. But what actually attracted me to the Amelie dress was not that striped one, but rather this sort of animal print in, uh, a khaki and um, like a light pink cheetah. I actually wore this dress when I was um, doing reviews for um, Stitch Fix. So I can go ahead and golden tone. So I can link to that down below in my comment section my, where I do the description. I will put a link of me wearing that dress in the review. It's a really nice material. It's it's got that stretch. It's kind of like the one I'm wearing actually right now, also Bowdoin, by the way. Um, and it really does sort of come in and then go out. So pear-shaped, again, it's a good choice. Um, it was very comfortable. I should not have bought the long. I bought the long instead of the short, uh, the regular, and it is a little too long on me. And nothing that's horrible, but it's like one of those where I feel like I have to wear heels because that lengthens my legs a little bit. Um, so I would recommend that if you're maybe taller than five foot 11 go with the long or if you really like that midi length but for me personally I like it when things hit right at my knee so I will adjust based on the length and measurements um the only time I'll go really long is if I know that it's like a maxi or I just don't I prefer not to have that t length on myself if it's a personal preference um the size I went with is an eight long um just because I didn't want it to pull or stretch across the um, bus line. My cat is calling for me. Excuse me. I'm going to pull him in so he doesn't feel neglected. Hey, buddy, you want to come up here? Do you want to say hi? No, he's just going to come in. Anyhow, so if Boris wants to, he can come up here and say hello. So I would highly recommend it. It's probably on sale for nothing right now because that thing's been out for a long time. Um, so if you can pick it up, I would suggest grabbing it. And um, I have a picture of it here on me right now. All right, 
So um, we're down to two of my most favorites, actually. Um, again, more of the embroidered. I do love a good embroidered dress from Bode, and they really do a good job with it. And they last a really long time. Okay, so this one right here is another cute little summer dress. Um, not It's sleeveless, but it's not um, so strappy that it's not something I can't wear to work. And the embroidery is done very well at the head at the sleeves. I mean, that's a pretty gold metallic embroidery with a pretty little um, scallop design. It does tie at the neck. I've seen people untie it, um, but I prefer it tied up. I think it looks a little bit more crisp that way. The only bummer about this dress is the waistline. It's that it's, um, it's an elastic waist, which makes it super comfortable, but it's just, I don't know, not as polished as I think if they had put a fixed waistband in with um, some stretch just in the back, that would have looked a little bit nicer. There are these gorgeous, I love yoke pockets. These are my favorite to sew and these are my favorite to wear. I went ahead and got this one in a size 12 long or an eight long and it's not too long. It's actually, had I gone with a regular, it would have been far too short for me to wear to school. This one is a more current one. So I'll pull up the picture of it from the most current Bowdoin catalog. And that is on page 187. It's called the Catrioni, Catriona, Catriona uh, embroidered dress. It's in the color pink. And here it is on the model. And she looks happy. She looks like she's enjoying wearing it. It's $98. So um, considering it's embroidered and it's well-made, I would say that's actually a pretty good price for what you receive, especially considering you don't ever pay $98 for it. Um, it is a, getting reviews that are saying that it's like not fitting right on the lower half. It fits me just fine because I chose to size up. Had I gone with a six long, it would have been far too tight. And if I had gone with a 10 long, it would have definitely looked too frumpy. So I would say measure to where you are most, where you most need the ease. And for me, because I needed the ease in my hips, but I also know it's a stretchy knit with a little bit of a fuller skirt, the eight worked better for me than the 10 would have. Um, but had this been a woven dress, I would have probably had to go with a 10 for sure. All right. And uh, last but not least is one that I just think is so pretty. I, I just adore this print so much. And the colors are spectacular. This season's colors have been beautiful. This kind of like rich coral with um, the like pretty teal, aqua, navy, blush pink, white. This is a little um, dress that is um, you know, it, it has the elastic waist, which makes it look a little bit less expensive, but then it has this tie belt, which helps elevate it a bit. Again, it has yoke sleeves. It is a cute little parrot print or bird print. It has sleeves on it and it hits just right at about knee length in the size I chose. Um, I went ahead and got a 12 R or a six R. So I went, wait a second, no, eight R, sorry, 12 I was like, that's not right. A UK 12R is a US 8R, so regular. I went with the regular length because upon looking at the measurements, I realized that it would be too long in um, the 8 long because it's a more fitted skirt. I don't want anything super fitted and below my knee. I don't think it looks as attractive. Um, it doesn't balance right. So this one is actually in the most current one as well. And I'm going to show it to you, the picture, and then I'll show you what's on the other page, the other side of the picture, because I can do a mini review of something as well. This one is called the Elspeth Jersey Dress. It's $90, and I really did want it to look like it looks on her, and um, I can tell based upon how she wears it that it does fit very similar. She actually, um, it's a little bit loose in her bust as well. Um, it's a little loose on my bust. But the effect, it doesn't diminish from the cuteness of how it looks overall. Um, it hits just above my knee. So I love this dress especially. I think this might be my favorite out of all the ones I've shown you just because of how special it looks and how, how easy it's going to be to wear to a bunch of different places. So I highly recommend that. And I would say go with wherever you need the ease the most. Again, for me, that was in the skirt portion. It is a knit. So I went with an eight regular um, rather than an eight long. 
And so because I can, I'm going to quickly do a mini review of the Scarlet Jersey tunic, which happens to be on the other side of the Elspeth Jersey dress. And it is what I am wearing right now. And I will go ahead. Oh, you know what I forgot to do with the other two? I forgot to show the pictures of me in the Catriona embroidered tunic. So before I dress, excuse me, before I start the review of this tunic I'm wearing, let me just quickly show you those. Okay, so the Catriona, the embroidered um, dress is right here. And... The Elspeth is right here. And I'm sorry, I, I should have remembered to do that. All right, now back to the Scarlet Jersey tunic. This is $75. I went ahead and bought it in a size eight. I will do a more formal review of it when I have the opportunity to show off. Um, it's going to be a tunics and jumpsuit um and i believe skirts and that'll be in the future probably a couple weeks from now but hey it's really pretty and i think people should buy it so i'm going to show it to you right here i bought the eight because i didn't want it to be too fitted at the hips and i want it to be a little bit less fitted because i think it would be super cute without leggings like i wore it today um i love the print i mean this print is just so special and unique it's got it's like almost Scandinavian in style, but it has that, it's the same coloration as the El Elspeth jersey dress, but it is just kind of in the opposite way. And this is a brighter pink as opposed to a um, coral pink. But otherwise they, they have, they come from the same family, which is why they of course have put this on the opposite pages from each other. So you, if you like this dress, you'll probably like this tunic. And they were smart because they grabbed me with both. <laughs> Um, I would uh, say definitely grab it and um, it does have little buttons though I do want you to know that these are a usual usable buttons I'm not oh no they're not they're not usable I don't know why they bothered I thought they were here I am like trying to pull it apart these aren't usable they're just here for decoration and to be completely honest I'm not sure they even needed to worry about it they probably could have gotten away with no buttons here because you can't even really tell I guess if you buy the black maybe you can tell a little bit more Anyhow, I digress. Um, if you um, would like more information about it, I will do that review in a couple of weeks more um, close up. But um, for right now, go ahead and take a look at it on me here. Okay, uh, that's it for the Bowdoin Dresses Edition for uh, this spring, summer 2019. If I do end up getting any more, I will do like an end of season review. But at the at the moment, this is all I've currently got and all I'm currently planning on buying. I have my eye on a maxi dress and maybe something else. But uh, right now, the prices aren't good enough, even with sales, for me to go and dip my fingers into those. So I'm going to go ahead and just end this now and um, I'm going to ask that if you've enjoyed what you've watched and would like to see more from me, would you go ahead and subscribe down below? I'd love to have a few more subscribers and if you have content on your YouTube page, I would love to subscribe back. So definitely think about doing so. In addition, if you have any of these dresses or if you have questions about these dresses and you'd like to leave a comment below, I'm usually pretty good about being able to comment back as quickly as possible. Um, I find it, I find YouTube a good platform. It's very easy for me to interact with people. All right. Well, I'll see you um, in a week or so for my next uh, re um, edition of Bowdoin Springs Summer 2019 Reviews. Thank you so much. Enjoy.